two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation on the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Saturday, April the 22nd, and it's a, it's a pretty decent day out. Um, it's a little cloudy, but there's, there's not too much rain. I got Buddy sitting on the yoga mat. Buddy, you gonna do some yoga? You gonna do some yoga for your fans? Today I'm gonna do some kundalini yoga exercises, but we're gonna do some very light, uh, low impact kundalini yoga exercises. Really good for de-stressing, okay? Um, and that's what I'm gonna focus on today because I had a very stressful week this week. Uh, began this, or last week it was very hot. It was started off in the early 90s. And for this, for this, area this time of year that's very very warm and but then it cooled off so it's about today's probably in the upper 50s and that's kind of normal for this time of year it's much better uh, walking weather when it's cooler than when it's really hot and um, so today I'm gonna do some er kundalini yoga exercises that are gonna focus on relax re relaxation and reducing stress right but and bud, you can spot me from the other room and maybe later we'll go for a walk and hopefully it won't rain. It's been cloudy all day and it looks like we might get some rain, but hopefully we won't get any. So without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises. And bud, you can spot me from the other room. And I did do a, a, a short video of buddy yesterday. We were walking. Um, I might upload it, um, but it's, it's, it's um, it's a good video. It's a couple minutes long, and Buddy's just walking because we got a, we were able to take a walk yesterday, and Buddy he walked for a couple of miles, so he was getting some exercise, huh, Buddy? So hopefully maybe later on today we'll we'll go for a walk again, if it doesn't rain. But anyway, without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises. Hey, Bud, I'll put you in the room. bonk. And you can spot me from the other room. And these exercises are focused on relax, relaxation, calming the body, reducing stress, and that sort of thing. I'll take a warm up, I'll take a couple deep breaths. You want to always want to start off taking like three at least three deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale deeply through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let all the air out of your body. And inhale, and then we'll say the mantra. Um, namu. stressed already just from saying the mantra and taking those deep breaths the first exercise remember this is low impact we've done this one before basically we're gonna we're just gonna do some rocks for about a minute we're just gonna rock back and forth inhale as you're going forward exhale as you're going backwards and really try to straighten or uh, stretch your your neck and back muscles as you're rocking. And we do this for about a minute. And you can do this for a good one to three minutes at home. Try to rock forward as, as far as you comfortably can, really stretch those hips. And when you're bringing your body back, 
really try to stretch your shoulders back as far as you comfortably can. Stretch all that tension out of the back of those shoulders. Oh, that was already a minute. I felt like doing that longer. That felt really good. Next exercise I'm going to do, do this in a uh, seated position. Basically, you want to put your hands on your hips. And basically, you're going to turn to your left side. And when you turn your left side, inhale. But you also want to turn your neck as far as you comfortably can when you're turning to your left. And inhale. Then when you're turning to the right side, exhale and turn your neck along with your body as far as you comfortably can to your left side. And with this exercise, you want to close your eyes and focus on your chakra, which is in the center of your forehead. It helps you relax even a little bit better. And you want to do this for about one to three minutes. So we're going to start. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I feel a nice stretch in my neck, my back, because you want to also twist your body as far as you comfortably can. Remember, try not to overstretch or force yourself. Just go as far as you comfortably can. And do this, like I say, for between one and three minutes. I feel a nice stretch in my neck. All right, now it's about a minute. Oh, that felt really good. I felt <clears throat> nice stretch in the, my hips, my obliques, and my neck. Remember, you're turning your neck as far as you comfortably can. Feels really good. Next exercise I'm going to do is called the Cobra. And this is more of a, a pose. <clears throat> Basically, you want to, there's, there's also two ways of doing this exercise. You're going to lay on your stomach. <clears throat> you want to clasp your hands in front of you. And basically, actually, with this one, so we'll hold this exercise for about a minute. So I'm going to, I got my, my phone here and I'm going to, I'm going to time myself on my stopwatch. So I'm going to, this exercise will do for about a minute. You want to clasp your hands, your hands together, and just and basically lay it in this position like this for about a minute. And just being in this position on your elbows and curl your, your upper body up as far as you comfortably can, feel a nice stretch in your back. And if you're a little more flexible, another thing you can do is you can bend your knees with your knees pointed outwards and, and cross your feet together. And bring, your, bring your feet up as high as you possibly can towards your back. And this, this helps, this is, adds a, a, a little bit more of a stretch to your, to your back and your hips. And this, just being in this position right here feels very good. I feel a lot of tension releasing. Just being in this position feels really good. And you can switch from side to side each foot. And this is an exercise you want to do for about one to three minutes. If you're not that flexible, like I say, if, it, if it's too much of a strain to, to uh, bring your feet up like this, then just lay <clears throat> with your feet flat like this and for about a minute. And, and again, this is just being in this pose right here is very comfortable and you can, you'll feel a lot of stress in your lower back, in your hips, and your shoulders, just releasing. It's a really good exercise. It's called the Cobra Pose. All right. <clears throat> Next exercise we're going to do, we're going to lay on the, on the back, and we'll warm up with some crunches. This is a good time to warm up with some crunches. You want to put your feet 
flat on the floor and we'll do some basic crunches as many as you comfortably can I would say anywhere from I don't know 15 to 25 26 repetitions when you're, you want to exhale as you're crunching your body forward inhale as you're bringing your your head back down to the floor so we'll do this is an excellent stretch for the for the back to the upper back as well and that's the whole purpose of doing this exercise at this time so basically you want to crunch up as far as you comfortably can then bring your head back down to the floor inhale Alright, I did 26 repetitions. I felt really good. I felt a nice burn in my abdominals, but I also felt a nice stretch in my upper back. <clears throat> the next exercise we'll do, you want to get up on your elbows. We're going to do one leg at a time. Excellent exercise for the abdominals, and this is good, also is a great stretch for the shoulders and the lower back, and works the, the, the hip flexors as well. Just want to bring your foot up as, as high as you comfortably can for about five repetitions. Leave the opposite foot on the floor. As you bring the foot up, you want to inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five. And next, or we'll do the opposite leg and we'll do a total of about 25 reps for each foot. That was five, we'll do five more. That was 15 on each side. It's like going for a walk. Last set, I'll do six more repetitions. Finally, did I do six? I think I did six. <laughs> I'll do six more on uh, last leg. So we'll take a nice stretch. You want to stretch your arms. Take about three to five deep breaths. And stretch your arms and 
feet as far as you comfortably can. Next, <clears throat> we'll get up and we'll do one final exercise. It's called the tree pose. If you have done this one before, it's an excellent exercise. Also great for relaxation and de-stressing. Just wanna hold on one side, bring your foot up to your, your calf and just balance on one leg for about a minute. If you lose your balance, just put your foot back to the posi to position. Like if you drop your foot to the floor, just put it right back to the, to the spot where uh, you left off. You wanna bring your foot up to maybe where your, cap, where your calf is. And hold for about a minute. This is a great exercise for aligning your spine and helping you uh, increase your balance, your level of balance. You want to do this for about one to three minutes. And take deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth during the exercise. It's a great exercise, again, for aligning the back and the spine. It just feels really good. That was about a minute, so I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do the other foot, I'm gonna do my, my left foot. Same thing, bring your foot to about, to your calf or higher, wherever's comfortable, and hold for about a minute. That felt really great. Remember, if you like these exercises, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember to keep training, uh, try practicing these exercises. Remember to keep taking those walks and have an awesome day. All right, everybody, peace out. We'll see you on the next video.